As we lead up to the 20th anniversary of 9-11, we continue our coverage with another sports figure who is uniquely touched by the events of that day. Pat Tillman is considered an American hero, not only here in Arizona, but across the country. The late football player who played at ASU and for the Cardinals joined the Army shortly after 9-11, cutting his NFL career short. Cronkite News reporter Emily Carmen spoke to Tillman's former teammate and good friend Jeremy Stott, who reflects back on the event that changed his and Tillman's life forever. I remember sitting at home, I was in Scottsdale, Arizona, and my buddy Doug Moore called me and said, hey, are you, are you watching the news? And I'm like, no, I'm still licking my wounds from getting cut in the NFL, you know? No, I'm not watching the news. And he said, well, we're under attack. And I just remember turning on the TV going, what in the hell is going, this is America, we don't get attacked here. You know, the biggest thing about Pat, I loved about him was his honesty, his integrity. You know, he believed in doing the right thing. Once 9-11 happened, we had some pretty in-depth conversations that uh, changed the trajectory of our lives. And that was the defining moment in our life where I think that's where we kind of stopped believing in the hype in the NFL. Service over self is what we need to do. You know, there was actually a loophole that they were trying to get Pat out of the service to go back in the NFL because he had seen combat, he had been in combat. And Pat said, no, I've signed a contract, I'm going to fulfill it. And then that's when he went to Afghanistan and unfortunately was, uh, was killed. Well, I know what he would want, he would want us to remember the victims of 9-11. He wouldn't want it to be about Pat or Jeremy Stott or anybody else. Pat and I, I know we would both want the world to remember the victims and what we can learn from it. Jeremy Stott followed Pat Tillman's footsteps and joined the Marine Corps in 2006. After his tour of duty, he returned to ASU for his master's degree in 2009.